Hi Gemini, welcome to your March 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Gemini, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in the Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Gemini and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening in March 2022 for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or anyone dealing with the Gemini. What is the energy surrounding Gemini in love and romance for March 2022, Spirit? Tell me about it. Ooh, they're jumpy. They're jumpy, Gemini. I mean, some of you have been waiting to hear something of clarity, some sort of message that Spirit wants to give to you guys. Oh, here we go. This could be the one. All right. And it says you already met the romantic partner you seek. Let's go ahead and get another card, another energy. Tell me more. Forgiving and learning. Interesting. So it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so let's talk about this, Gemini. Um, I feel that there has been a certain situation that's happened with you and someone else you're connected to currently. Um, I don't know if you guys recently got an argument, recently kind of just, I don't know, there's just been some sort of energy that it doesn't feel like it used to. And I even feel with this forgiving and learning energy here, it's not so much about like someone doing something to you, betraying you, lying to you. It doesn't feel like that so far. It feels more like what they weren't ready to do, willing to do in order to show you how much they cared, how much they wanted this. Maybe they've been kind of putting this connection a little bit on the back burner or that's how you feel. Like where once you guys would always kick it, always hang out, they all of a sudden didn't have as much time anymore. And it almost feels like Gemini, you, you like hit a chord within them that they weren't ready to see, that they weren't ready to deal with. And I don't think they knew how to handle it. And I think now they kind of realize maybe you're not reaching back. You're paying the tip for the tat, right? The letter T is kind of sticking out very strongly for me. First, middle, last initial. Someone could have two T's in their name. Um, you know, like Tyler or Tara, whatever, right? But like, I feel Gemini, there's going to be a shift in this energy. If there has been awkwardness, if there has been like, a plateau, you haven't been realized what's going on. I feel that they're going to come forward, Gemini, and really just show you that they care, that they want something more of this, that they feel they've met someone that has meant something so much to them. And for whatever reason, whether it was through past wounds, especially here, um, past wounds, past breakups, they were holding 
old energy into the connection that you two had that didn't need to be held there. You know, maybe they were cheated on in the past. They were lied to in the past. They were hurt in the past. And they were protecting themselves from you because of that. But they're kind of realizing now that they didn't need to project that energy into the connection you two had. And I do feel, Gemini, that they're going to reveal something to you that is going to make a lot more sense about the reason why they've been acting a certain way, why you feel like they've been holding back or haven't been the same. You've changed something within them. And I feel now more than ever, they're ready to be more for you or to show you that they're ready to have it all with you or that they want more from you than what they've been showing. They have been working on themselves. They have been healing. And I don't think they would have been so serious or proactive in their healing if they haven't met you. All right. Re weirdly, when I said proactive, I literally saw like that old skincare product proactive. So maybe someone's been having trouble with their skin, um, has been embarrassed kind of by their skin and so hasn't want to see you face to face because of that. I don't know why. That could just be a metaphor spiritually for someone's kind of shedding old skin. I really do want to say that this connection they've had with you has completely changed them for the best. And they're becoming in higher vibration to meet your frequency, Gemini. Wow. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot. So with the tarot, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you? So let's see. Wow. Okay. The chariot. This is giving me a very interesting energy here, but we'll get to that in one second. Let me just pull out all the cards. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Wow. All right, let's talk about it, Gemini. <laughs> so bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. So Aries energy, you could be dealing with an Aries, you could have Aries in your chart, it does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. But what I feel with this is that from the moment they met you, there was a spark, there was a fire, there was a chemistry, and they felt so drawn towards you and they didn't really know why. But they just had to get to know you. I felt like they asked you for your number, they asked you for your Instagram, your social media, Maybe you guys met when you were like out, like going out with friends, at a concert, at a party, and they just, out of everyone in the room, felt so drawn to you. There is something sexy about you, something attractive about you. You kind of just reel them in, Gemini. Someone likes to wear a hat, whether that's like a baseball cap, a beanie. Um, maybe you met them when they were wearing a hat. It's kind of coming through here. But I feel that, you know, this draw to you, this passion towards you kind of scared them because maybe they had that same sort of draw and vibe with someone that did break their heart. And I want to say this about that spiritually. This feels very sacral, like something within your sacral chakra or their sacral chakra really lit up during your guys' interaction, an awakening within the sacral chakra. And I feel spirit draws us to certain people for a reason obviously for the reason of learning something growing something evolving something or healing something and I feel that with your interaction how you guys met it really was for someone to leave something behind to pursue the new because they were holding on to the old for far too long again this could be you this could be the other person but clearly spirit saying something here about you guys met so you can move forward within this and leave the past behind for good. You know, no longer feel connected to the past, drawn from the past. And I think that was the whole process of maybe why someone was so worried, was so scared, because it was the shedding of the past, right? Because I see a lot of hurt here. But it feels outside of this connection, but they kind of just projected that into this. And it didn't belong to you. You... You know, they had no right to be suspicious of you. But again, that was kind of the reason. If some of you were wondering why, that's the reason. But automatically, you guys clicked. There was a spark. 
there was an attraction, there was a chemistry. And automatically they thought you're really hot. That's the word they describe you as <laughs> to their friends or family members. Um, very hot, very sexy. Even the way you dress is very sexy. They like your style. Um, but your mannerisms, just the way you kind of like look towards them, the way you walk, the way you sit, you know how to reel them in, Gemini. Let me just say that. And you definitely reeled this one in. Someone likes to do their makeup really like creatively, likes to use vivid, bold colors, likes to try new things out with their makeup. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But someone has a very interesting look. Let's get into this. So how they feel about you is the chariot. Cancer energy. Also Sagittarius for me as a reader. Um, you know what I felt when I saw this card before any of the other cards fell? Was that I don't need to run from this. It felt like, you know, for a while they were just trying to disconnect. They were trying to, you know, run away from this. They were trying to avoid this in some way. Maybe kind of, again, out of protection, out of fear, whatever, right? But they're realizing they don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to seek something else. They don't have to retreat from this. Where they are with you is where they need to be. That's kind of what they're feeling from this. And... I feel, Gemini, that with this chariot energy here, that they've realized they've created this stagnancy in this connection because the chariot is fast paced. The chariot is once they make their mind up, they pursue it with, you know, every fiber of their being. There's nothing that can stop them. And I think they're kind of realizing that they created unnecessary blockages here which has prevented this connection from moving forward to where it should be by now. Now, I also get that someone doesn't have a car or someone's car has been in the shop. I hope someone hasn't gone through a car accident recently, but there has been problems in, with transportation in some way. And someone has to be the person to go pick the other person up type of thing. Um, and that has created some issues within the connection as well. Maybe you guys don't live close to each other. Maybe you're a couple hours away, maybe like 45 minutes away. So, you know, you have to dedicate some time to going to see each other. But yeah, what I feel for most of you is that they feel like they don't have to run from this anymore, hide from this anymore. They don't have to create a block. They don't have to create a diversion here. And they realize that that was the problem all along. And I do feel they hope you could forgive them for that. Wow. Because what they think about you, Gemini, the two of cups, more cancer energy. They think you, there's a soul bond here between the two of you. And this is kind of relating to this could be the one, right? That maybe they were hiding or running away from the one person that understands them the most. And although maybe it kind of started off as this two of wands instant attraction, it's developed into an emotional bond here. You understand them. I think you like accept them for who they are. Maybe they told you of their problems of what they've been through in the past and you've been very patient with them. But maybe that patience is kind of wearing thin now. I'm hearing July. Someone could be born in July, um, or you could have met in July, or something happened in July that was very significant for the two of you. And there are two twos here. So your birthday could be June 2nd, June 12th, um, maybe May 22nd for someone out there. But yeah, I think they're realizing that they were trying to push away or avoid the one person that they feel the most connected to. And... They think they're ready now to do their end of telling you and showing you exactly how they feel with no restrictions, with no fears, but being completely open and honest the way you have been with them. But I feel you guys have had all these moments where they've it's just growing both of you closer. 
Maybe you've helped this person out during a difficult situation recently. I feel, um, you know, you've always been there for them in an emotionally supportive way that I don't think they've ever had with anyone else, not even their own family members, definitely not past lovers, but they had with you. I feel like you guys bond through music. Um, I think you guys like the same music. I'm hearing like EDM, electronic music. Uh, someone could be a DJ or someone likes to go to those um, festivals. Maybe you've been to festivals, concerts before. But they think there's something solid here that they need to act on, that they need to face and they need to start working towards because they only feel this bond with you. Someone likes to wear a ring on their thumb or maybe someone recently has like a band-aid on their thumb or something with their thumb. I don't know why that's kind of coming through here. What they like the most about you, Gemini, is the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. You're direct. Um, you know, you wouldn't be wasting your time on someone if you didn't feel a certain way. You've always been honest with your communication. I do feel you have this ability to heal through your words. The words you said have really stuck with them. I feel that there's something about your voice that they find very sexy, very attractive. Maybe some of you have a really good singing voice. Um, but your like voice or just hearing you talk or having you on the phone or whatever, having these conversations with you really does help them heal them. You have taught them things that they haven't thought about, but has been moving them towards a better mindset, a different perspective of looking at love and romance. And you're definitely a good kisser. They love the way you kiss. Um... I don't know if you like suck on the bottom lip or you do something with your kiss that has been pretty good. They love making out with you. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but I am. And I think with the Six of Swords, you have been the one to always mend the bridges here or try to get them to come out of their shell, try to get them to speak what's on their mind. And although they haven't fully, there has been times when you have learned more about them and kind of it's made sense as to why they're so, in times when they're so distant or so off. But every single time they have a conversation with you that's deep, that's meaningful, it has provided some sort of healing for them, some sort of evolution within them. You guys send each other voice memos too, I'm picking up on as well. What they don't like about you is the magician. So Gemini energy, Virgo energy. This is interesting. They sense how like powerful you are, Gemini, in attracting things. Again, really, that really energy you do. They sense that you can have it all. I mean, you have everything. You have worked hard to get to the point where you're at spiritually. I think there's a part of you that they don't really understand. You have this like optimism about getting everything done by fixing certain problems and moving forward. That I, I almost feel like Gemini, you reflect something to them that they feel they lack within themselves. And instead of before, you know, seeing that as an opportunity to improve and evolve, they kind of got intimidated by that in some way. I almost feel, Gemini, that some of them have believed that you deserve more than what they could ever give. And there's something about you and how you pursue life and how you just move forward with solutions. You don't stay stuck in certain energies for too long. That makes them feel like they couldn't meet that. They couldn't match that. Now, others of you, again, with some sort of past energy here, they're afraid that you were, you know, playing them, manipulating them. They're, but this is the magician in the upright. 
I don't think that was ever your intent or purposes, but that was always a fear, especially with how much you've been able to engage them, how much interest they have for you. Again, I think they were going against their gut feelings and trying to reason it out and trying to say that, you know what, Gemini's want something from me. They just want to use me or whatever. And that was never the truth. But that's something that they have been afraid of as far as what has happened with you, especially because you're so good with your words, especially because you, again, I think it's through every part of your life, you kind of have master, mastered the law of attraction here. And you get what you want. And they're afraid that, you know, you did what you wanted from them wasn't of the highest intents and purposes. Now, I got to say, there could be some Geminis here that do practice magic and they're afraid of that or they don't like that. Just putting that out there for someone. But yeah, I think they were just worried that your intentions weren't good. But it was nothing that was actually ever proven to them in the tangible in the 3D. It was just a fear they always had. Someone has their hair in braids or just got their hair braided or likes to get their hair braided. What they like the most about the connection, nine of swords, Gemini energy. Interesting position, but what I feel with this is that, again, when they start to stress out, when they start to become overwhelmed, afraid, you know what to say to calm them, to put them at ease. I feel that literally, Gemini, even if there has been awkwardness in the connection right now, they're, they constantly have you on their mind, and that's telling them something. But I think... The more they reveal themselves to you about what they've been through, the pains they've been through, you're, you've been getting a better understanding about them. And maybe they didn't have an easy life. Maybe they did have a hard life. But I think you've been helping them heal their mindset about it and really helping them heal to let them go of their past and to just pursue something further, something better, and that they don't have to stay stuck. And whether you're consciously aware that you're doing this or just you kind of just through the interaction with you, the conversations they have with you, like I said, have been putting them in a better place mentally. You're taking them out of this nine of swords and real, letting them know that there's nothing to fear. I have always been honest with you and my intentions with you. I've always been direct about what I want and what I like and what I don't like. And there's no ulterior motive behind it that you have to be afraid of. I also get someone has really bad sleep patterns or has difficulty with sleeping that maybe you've been trying to help them out with. Some Someone gets up at like multiple periods of the night, has trouble sleeping, definitely. What they don't like about this connection is the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. So yeah, I really do feel like they are worried and upset that they've already done too much damage in this. The resistance of it all, the sabotage of it all. They're worried that, you know, especially recently, if there has been awkwardness, if there has been, you know, a pushback or something like, I wonder if they kind of feel like, they've already ruined this or ruined what could have happened with this. That they've been so upset about the past, they couldn't see what they could have had the future with you. And that they've been crying over spilled milk for too long without realizing they could have built something here to grow and move forward. But I feel like Gemini, this is a part of what you don't like about this connection too, is that this person is very emotional. Um, and there's not nothing wrong with emotions as long as you are aware that, yes, your emotions may be telling you something, but how do you respond and how do you react? And this person is up and down with their emotions. And as much as you try to help them, 
they need to also help themselves, which I think they're doing. But they have, you know, these periods of when they're acting on their emotions, they make wrong choices. And maybe they take stuff out on you or just, you know, hide from you. And that's not what's going to keep you engaged in this. So the highest hopes here is the hermit, another nine. So there's two nines. Again, someone's birthday could be June 9th, June 19th, maybe May 29th. Um, but what I feel with this is that I feel this is what you're hoping for them to understand, Gemini, is that through whatever they're going through, if they have been silent, if they have been pushing you away, that through this time of separation or for them to be alone, they could really start to understand reality versus illusion. And that when they are alone during this period, that they can come to the acceptance that they're not gonna be happier being alone. And maybe they've tried to be alone for all this time, but they're really realizing that that has never served them, pushing people away. And that maybe during this period of awkwardness or whatever it's been, they're learning something here that is going to shed that old skin once and for all. And maybe this time separate, maybe, I don't feel it's officially separate, but again, like just during this time you've given them space. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pull back for a bit that they have been learning something here. Um. And I think on their end, what their highest hopes is that you'll still accept them throughout it all. Accept them at their best, accept them at their worst. But that they don't want to be alone anymore. That they don't want to push you away anymore. And that they realize by doing that has never served this. And that they can also retain their independence, retain their... Um, you know, need to have those breaks and that you'll still always be there, which I think you would, but they have to be honest about it, right? That's what I feel their highest hopes are. And yours too. But the deepest fears is the Ace of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The spark that was there when you guys met isn't there anymore. The passion there, the excitement there, has faded away, that the flame has kind of burned out a bit. And they've kind of missed their opportunity to kind of ignite this flame, to feed the flame, to feed the fire. And instead of trusting their gut instincts and their feelings around this, they've sabotaged it and it's kind of put the flame out between the two of you. They're hoping that's not the case. They're hoping you're not moving on or thinking about moving on to other people, other opportunities that are going to feed your fire more, your inspiration, your excitement, your passion. They're hoping the passion hasn't died out between the two of you because of their unreadiness. Wow. All right, Gemini, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what's likely to happen, unfold by the end of March, what do you need to know that they're likely planning on doing here? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation. I'm also going to pull Oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection to provide more information about what they're likely to do. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way and has given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's going on in your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini. <laughs>